Hey everybody, JT the Soccer Scholar here talking about match day six for the GMC. We're talking about the girls' side, so let's get to it. First, a recap for match day five. Lakota East and Mason sharing the points. 1-1 in a hard-fought match. Oak Hills, no trouble with Colerain winning 5-0. Sycamore, 3-0 over Hamilton. Fairfield puts up eight goals on Middletown. And Lakota West gets the 2-0 result over Princeton. So, I was at that Mason-Lakota East game. It was definitely a hard-fought match. Erica Cox scored for the Thunderhawks in the first half. Shannon Krogan for the Comets in the second half for that draw. Let's take a look at the standings now. It is chaotic up at the top. Mason, Lakota East, and Sycamore all with 11 points here in the GMC. So, we got a three-way tie. But, mind you, we got also... A three-way tie for what would, I guess, technically be fourth, you know, depending on how you want to do that. But look, Oak Hills, Coleraine, and Fairfield, all with nine points as well. And the Firebirds of Lakota West down there with six points, you know, depending on results could go, you know, maybe they can get themselves back into it. So definitely a big, 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 big finish here set for the girls' side of the GMC. Now let's get it to what's happening tonight. This is match day six, but really it's just one match tonight for the GMC and then for uh, on Thursday. So we'll talk about tonight's match first, Mason versus Hamilton. You know, the Comets with that 1-1 result against Lakota East. That was a battle of two undefeated teams. They both share the points. Sycamore gets the win, so now you have three teams up at the top. I just think that the Comets are going to try and get things a little bit straightened out here and try and get things figured out. Hamilton has had a little bit of a, a down season compared to where they would want to be at. You know, last year that was a team that was kind of um, vying for a, a top spot um, down the stretch in, in the GMC. And this one, though, mind you, even though it's a home uh, victory or a visitor victory or draw, I'm going to go with the Comets to get things going again and uh, pick up three points here in an important GMC match. All right, matches that are now for Thursday. So if you're watching this on Thursday, matches for tonight. If you're watching this for Tuesday or Wednesday, hey, these are Thursday matches. But nonetheless, Coleraine hosting Lakota West. And this is going to be an interesting one because the Cardinals got that big result against Fairfield 2-1. But then they were uh, defeated by Oak Hills 5-0. So Cardinals are looking to get things back on track, and and it's going to be a difficult situation because Lakota West, despite their record, I think the Firebirds are uh, a little bit better than what their record embellishes here. So I, I think this is going to be a really hard fought match. Now it is in Colerain, but with that said, I think I'm going to take the Firebirds for the win draw option. I could see this actually being something more like a one one draw, uh, but Cardinals need a win to stay in that GMC race. Well, meanwhile. The Firebirds need a win to, well, stay in any type of race here. Princeton versus Lakota East. Look, I think this is going to be the Thunderhawks staying on track here with the uh, with a win on the road. Uh, and Middletown and Oak Hills, Highlanders, you know, they're a goal-scoring machine. I think they're going to put up some goals here in Middletown for three points. And that brings us to what is probably the biggest matchup for the girls' side here for Thursday. And that's Fairfield hosting Sycamore. Sycamore right now with 11 points, tied for first. Fairfield right now with nine points, just right behind, trying to stay in the mix. Both these teams really need a result here out of this one. Both teams probably actually need the win. A draw might not help, depending on how things go for other schools in the area. So it's going to be a big match. It is in Fairfield, so I think that might lean itself a little bit more towards Fairfield's uh, abilities and to their doings, but Sycamore has been so good as well all season long, um, and it's because of that that I think I'm going to actually take the Aves for that draw option. I think this one can go a couple ways. I think Fairfield has a legitimate shot at winning this one. I think I could be wrong with this pick, um, but I also think that Sycamore does well defensively, and they just seem to have had a good ability to get results in tough places. I think Sycamore is going to uh, maybe not necessarily win, but get a result out of this. And I think that's going to set up for a crazy finish. You know, Sycamore definitely wants three points to try and make sure that they can either stay on track or take advantage of the GMC. But Fairfield definitely needs the three win, uh, or excuse me, the three points for the win to try and surge themselves ahead. So I can see Fairfield being a little bit more aggressive and Sycamore being able to be a little bit more defensive hitting them on the counter. So I'm going to take Sycamore for this option. But overall, I think there's like great slates of games this week for the GMC girls.